Well, now that we got the car back from the sandblaster, we're ready for panel replacement. Well, almost ready for panel replacement. Restoration is all about patience, and it's not, we're not ready to replace the panels until we properly jig the body. I don't care if we're doing it. I don't care if you're doing it at home. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what? are you doing? Well, we're ready to go. Let's cut out the floors. All you want to do is talk, 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 talk. It's all theory for you. I know there's no dirt under your fingernails either. Let's cut the floors out. Let's get going. Yeah, but the thing is, you know what? You got to work smart. It doesn't matter if we're doing it at home. <laughs> you laugh at that, right? <laughs> it doesn't matter if you're doing it at home or if you're doing it at the shop. You have to build a dolly for it first. If Tom cuts out the entire floors, the car is going to start to fold up. It's going to start to twist. It's sitting on jack stands. It's not sitting level. If this thing were a convertible, you'd have two cars soon. <laughs> True enough, but you've already sent it out once to the sandblaster. I mean, I thought this was going to be a project that we could do at home. If you can't build the dolly at home, you can't do the replacement of the panels at home. All you right. have to, it's simple, you can do it in a day. So what they started with is they dropped plumb bobs down from the pickup points on the chassis here. And then we're going to mark the floor. That's going to give us sort of the outside dimension or where we have to be at. From there, we're just going to square off the tubes. We're going to use two inch tube, one eighth wall thickness and what we're going to do is cut them to length. Once they're cut to length, you lay them out on the floor, you start welding them together. Now what you'll also notice is we're actually going with two layers or two levels of this uh, the square tubing. The reason we're doing this is we're going to make it more rigid. If you just have one, it's going to actually flex in the middle and it's going to do exactly what we're going to do on the jack stands anyway. Normally you do that on a surface plate at Legendary Motor Company. Yeah, if we, if, most shops at home don't have a surface plate, so this takes the place of a surface plate, plus it gives us the ability to roll it around. So if you're doing this at home, you can put it in your garage, roll it around, put it off to the corner. You, you would leave it in the corner. The rest of us would pull it out once in a while and work on it. But they did, the one thing I did notice is that the bigger the wheels, the better, always. Right, and once you've got the, the rectangular frame built, you want to add wheels, and, and you're absolutely right. You want to go to an 8-inch wheel if you can. As The bigger, the better. Some guys go to pneumatic wheels and, and make it real easy to push around, especially around here if you've got a gravel driveway, something like that. Now, here's where you're going to need a couple of friends. That's why I had to call my guys instead of Tom, because you've got no friends. <laughs> You get everybody to pick up a corner, slide the dolly in underneath, pick up the suspension points, we're picking up the frame points in the front, we're picking up the two leaf spring points in the back, and then we can add bracing if we need to right off of this dolly, we can weld to it. But I've also seen you use pinch welds, and what if you're not building one of these for a Nova? Well, it's real simple. Once your frame, your outside perimeter frame's built, you can keep adding cross members to it, taking them away, you can use them for different cars. So we, I finally We'll get use to cut this something. for a Camaro next time. Yeah, you get to cut something off, weld a new piece in, but what you want to do is pick up suspension points or frame mounting points. All right, so that's very very slick. Finally, we're in a position that we can start working on this. Almost. Thing. Bolt it down, then we're ready to go. Now right. you can fire up the torch, Tom. <laughs>